Okay, who are we going to do the finishing touches on this horse on the left side? Remember how hard it was to get the the blade moving uh, in the past clips? Uh, here, see how smooth it's moving? I can move the blade back and forth because the edges are virtually gone now. I'm using my left hand in the horse's mouth to do two things. One, it's a speculum. <clears throat> so a speculum is a device that keeps the mouth open. It's also guiding the blade exactly where I want it by using my fingertips to point where I need it to go. It's also displacing the tongue off to the side and pushing the cheek out all at the same time, which makes it a lot easier on the horse. When I come out, um, I'm just showing you how far back my fingers are going there. Uh, here, the other horse, I'm doing the right side. And remember, this horse was very painful with extremely sharp edges. And he'll object a little bit to this because I'm forcing the tongue over to the other side and it's just something that's a little uncomfortable. But you'll see him get it real quick here. Now I'm sliding the blade in there and I'm working on the inside uppers, which is a spot that's often overlooked. And sometimes it have a very sharp spike that goes down into the tongue. Then I rock the blade around <clears throat> to the outside and get again get in between the cheek and the teeth. And that's where the ulcers occur. Now the ulcers are just abrasions basically between the sharp tooth and the cheek. And this just smooths the cheek teeth down <clears throat> and the abrasions will heal in about two or three days sometimes up to a week now look at this horse his head just comes down you'd think that he'd be like want me out of there but instead he has no problem this is comfortable